there, my name is Miss Sharika, and I am so thankful I get to spend time with you. Here are three things you should know about me. One of those is I am the oldest of three. I have two younger brothers that I love to boss around. I went to a historically black university, Florida A&M University. And when I was younger, I had a dog growing up and her name was Sheba. He loves you. When you love something, you take good care of it, don't you? When I was younger, like I mentioned, I have two younger brothers. And so I was the big sister. So not only did I get to boss them around, I got to really love on them and take care of them. In fact, my youngest brother, Edward, when he was little, I had to take care of him. He would have to go everywhere with me. Now, did I always like that as a big sister? No, I didn't want him to go to the mall with me or to the movies with me, but because I love him so, so, so much, I wanted to make sure that he was taken care of when mom and dad were at work. So in tonight's story, we see how Jesus took care of Ruth and Naomi in a very unexpected way. Last night, we learned how God brought Ruth into his family and how he created us to be in his family too. Naomi and Ruth left Moab and made the boat ride across the Dead Sea back to Israel. When Naomi left, she had a husband and two sons, but now both of them were widows. I'm not talking about the spider. A widow is a woman whose husband died. The two women had no money, no jobs, and no food. So Ruth immediately started looking for ways that she could make enough money to feed the two of them. In those days, no one worked in office buildings or from their computers at home, church kids. Why? Because computers weren't invented yet. Because society was agrarian. Agrarian is a fancy word that means most people worked on farms, raising animals or growing vegetables or fruit. The important plant farmers grew then was wheat. Wheat is the plant people use most to make bread and up until recent years was one of the main foods people ate to stay alive. Do you think people had gluten allergies back then? I want to know because Mr. Damon has gluten allergies. Because most people worked on farms in Ruth's time, one of the most important times of the year was May to June because this was when all of the wheat on the farms was fully grown and ready to be cut. When God gave his rules to Moses back in the book of Exodus, he told the Israelite farmers to leave some of the wheat in the fields instead of taking all of it. Why? Because God wanted the poorest people in their communities to be able to come into the fields and cut wheat to feed their families. God dearly loves people who don't have much and wants us to love and to be generous to them too. Naomi and Ruth had no money, but they knew about God's generous wheat rules. So Ruth went out into the nearest wheat farm to begin collecting wheat the farm workers left behind. All day she worked, walking behind the farmers and picking up all of the wheat that accidentally dropped on the ground. It was hard work and the sun was hot in the sky, but Ruth didn't take any breaks. Do you think God forgot about Ruth and Naomi? Do you think they were all on their own? No way. Just like God took care of them in Moab, he was right there with Ruth and Naomi in Israel, getting them ready for something amazing. One day, as Ruth was working in the field, a wealthy person named Boaz rolled up to check out how his harvest was doing. What Ruth didn't know was the field she happened to work in belonged to Boaz, and Boaz was a really good guy. Now, I want to warn you because the story I am about to tell you has some cooties in it. So brace yourselves. When Boaz saw Ruth, he immediately said, wow, Ruth is smart, strong, kind, and an incredibly hard worker. And she is super beautiful. One of Boaz's employees said, not only that, boss, Ruth is from Moab and chose to move to Israel because she loves Naomi and loves God. Boaz was in love. 
he introduced himself to Ruth, and before long, the two got married. Here comes the bride. Cooties, I know, I warned you. Think about this. Ruth was living in Moab and didn't know Jesus. But God loved her and connected her with Naomi, who told her about the one true God. When Ruth lost her husband and became a widow, Jesus was right there with her. When she moved to a new and unfamiliar country with an unfamiliar culture, language, and traditions, Ruth wasn't alone. Jesus was with her. When she didn't have a job or money, or food, and things look bad from the outside. Ruth knew God was surrounding her, helping her, and going to work things out. And that is exactly what he did. Do you know that just like Jesus was with Ruth, he is always with you. You are never alone. When we feel scared or find ourselves in new and unfamiliar situations, Remember, Jesus is going to work it out for you. All we need to do is stop and ask for help. When we remember he is with us, the scary feelings begin to go away and peace takes their place. God loves working things out and turning bad situations into beautiful ones. This is why scary situations don't have to scare us. This is why when we have to go through things that are difficult or sad, we can know Jesus is going to take care of us. I will prove it to you. Here's how Ruth's story ends. She and Boaz got married and had a son named Obed. Then Obed had a son named Jesse, and Jesse had a son named David. Does he sound familiar? Yes. Jesse had a son named David who killed a giant named Goliath. That's right. Ruth was King David's great-grandma. It gets better because 1,000 years later, Ruth had a great, 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 great grandson named Jesus. When the world looked at Ruth, they saw a widow. They saw an immigrant they saw someone who didn't have any money. When God looked at Ruth, he saw a champion. He saw his best friend. When he looks at you, he sees the exact same thing. How good does it feel knowing that God of the universe is with you and is taking care of you just like he took care of Ruth? No matter where you go or what happens, fun or sad, easy or difficult, Jesus is with you. And when we choose to trust him like Ruth did, he will turn every situation around into something amazing. Are you going through something difficult right now? Maybe it's at school or with a friend or in your body. Let's ask Jesus to turn it around and give us peace. Say this after me. Jesus, I trust you and want to know you. You are always with me. When things are hard, will you remind me? You are with me. I am having a hard time right now with tell him what it is. Show me you are going to work it out for me. I trust you, and I love you, Jesus. Thank you for being my best friend. That's all. I am so thankful for you. You are so smart, so strong, and so valuable to me. Your family, your friends, and most of all, to Jesus. Have a wonderful night's sleep sweet dreams, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. We are going to live lives trusting Jesus. Good night.